everybody. It is Friday, April 8th, 2016. This is Radio Tokyo. I'm Jonathan, and I do want to say something very quickly. Uh, today is uh, Go Blue Day because it is Child Abuse Awareness Month. So I'd appreciate it if all of you would, you know, put up, go, would, would, would stop whatever it is you're doing and go put on a blue shirt or a blue tie or just a piece of blue ribbon or anything like that because it's, it's, it's a pretty important cause. In fact, today I actually went to a child abuse awareness program at the local, at the, the courthouse here in town. Uh, we had a huge crowd. It was good turnout. Glad to see everybody. And speaking of glad to see everybody, hi Nick, how are you today? I'm good. Yes, please wear blue, blue jeans, blue sneakers, blue underwear, blue hat, blue blanket, blue coat, whatever blue thing you can find, wear the blue thing. Because child abuse is not cool. And we shouldn't ignore it. And we shouldn't push it to the side. We, it needs to be addressed. Yep. No, it, 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 but, it, it yeah. It, 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 it would be nice if it was a longer thing, you know, but I mean, like, having a whole month dedicated to it and, tr and trying, you know, outreach and awareness and everything is good. Um, but the, the whole reason I want to start with that is because I want, I, I want to give all of you a very sad statistic, and then we're going to move on to some things that are maybe, maybe less depressing. I don't know. Uh, just, just, just be aware that Nick actually picked the, the main topic. For today so but yeah anyway um, I was reading our local paper uh, and, they, they, and this is actually what got me to go to this event today uh, like it like not not because you know I'm running for office or anything like that it was actually because this is a good thing to have gone to um, here in the county I live in uh, it used to be in the years past that there would be no more than a hundred kids at any given time that were in custody of the state or you know or, or basically CPS here in the county and now it's gotten up to being 125, and I'm actually embarrassed to say that my portion of the state of Texas is actually among the highest uh, for uh, population density, like anywhere else in the state. That, that, that's actually embarrassing. So it is a good cause to support, and if you know, basically, if you know anyone who's being abused, especially a child, speak up for them because oftentimes the kid won't. So. That said, we're gonna move on to Nick's um Yeah, Nick's uh thing you wanted to talk about that's gonna just ruin your day if I already haven't. <laughs> Nick, are are you sure you wanna talk about Batman vs Superman again? This has been like the I mean, ninth episode we've talked we, about we, it. We've reviewed it plenty of time. I I I'm not gonna talk about it if it's a good movie or a bad movie or what. What is important right now is how it's doing in the box office. Now, before, we were all basically amazed at how wonderfully it did um, opening weekend because, uh, like you said, it broke a bunch of records, everyone was excited for it, and it was doing great, right? Yeah. Now it's not doing so hot. Um... I believe the WB projected for the second weekend that it would get 58 million. It came in at 51 million, which is actually less than Deadpool's second weekend. Um, also, another interesting statistic is that I believe it has 30% higher um, relaunches, so which is cool. I mean, that's a cool thing because people are so excited about it. Um, that they want to see it again. However, it's a bad thing in a way as well because that means not a lot of new people are coming to see it or less new people than um, normal. And now uh, WB is actually worried about um, Batman vs. Superman reaching a billion dollars, which would be a big deal um, because that would actually place it far lower than... Um, uh, what a lot of people were expecting. Um, it would be, if I'm looking at statistics, that would place it as the 25th, if it doesn't reach a billion, like if it's 999 million, that would be the 25th highest grossing movie worldwide ever. 
which would actually put it below the Christopher Nolan Batman. Um, below the Avengers movies, below Iron Man 3, the Transformers movies, and a lot of other things. So, uh, it, I mean, uh, $999 million is still a hell of a lot of money. It's nothing, I, I, I would love to make $999 million on anything. I would consider that a success. But we know how these movie studios are. And I'm hoping WB doesn't overreact, but we're already seeing signs that they have been reacting. Um, we talked about Suicide Squad getting heavily reshot, and apparently Wonder Woman's getting a lot of reshoots too. So, I mean, what do you think? I think, um, honestly, that there's really not much of a reason to worry. Uh, it's a Batman movie. Uh, they're always popular. But not, and honestly, I think... It, it, I don't want to just call it a Batman movie, but I have to, because like three quarters of the movie mm -hmm. is a, it's a fucking Batman movie. Okay? It, it's, it's a Batman movie, okay? But, well, ba but, that, but That's but, another but, interesting thing. I've heard some people call it a second Superman movie, and I've heard other people calling it the first Batman movie. It, okay, it's on technically te who, technically supposed to be uh, the second Superman movie, but really you spend so much of the movie dealing with Batman and Bruce Wayne and you know shit going on in Gotham and how pissed off it is hit Superman. Like there's so much more of a concern uh, with Batman involved that it's essentially a Batman movie, which is not a bad thing. Uh, and people like Batman. Bat like Batman is. Easily the yeah, most Batman. popular superhero, and I, 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 I'm sorry because I, because I know a lot of people who like Superman. Even I like Superman yeah. for as much as they give him. Uh, but Bat, Bat excuse, excuse me, sorry about that. But Batman is always going to be the most popular because he's cool, and people are going to yeah, go see him because it's Batman. But hang, hang, hang on, hang on, let me let me let me, let me, let me finish this one thing. Yeah, I, I um, was just gonna agree with you. Hang on a second, okay? Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think part of the worry. It, it, it's 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 a valid concern. It really is. Okay, you know the movie uh, does have a lot of issues. I mean, we, we, you and I have discussed them, you know, for like three weeks now, like some of the issues in the movie. Uh, but it's a good movie, and people will be going to see it because it's a Batman movie. Uh, and really, I think uh, what's happened, like honestly, what I think's happened that 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 is affecting the performance of the movie itself is there has been so many people who have bad mouthed it. You know, it's gotten so many negative reviews because everyone is so overly critical of the movie. Like, oh my god, I don't like this. I don't like that. Da, 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 da. Why don't you go watch it and enjoy it for what it is? You know, damn it, just watch it and view it for for for, for exactly what it is and enjoy that. I mean, use it. I mean, for God's sake, no one I'm sure in the audience other than myself was aware of. Uh, well, I'm sure there were people there who were aware of all of the uh, little Easter eggs that were in the movie for other DC characters. You know, uh, for you know, like okay, one one of the biggest ones for me, getting to see the creation of Cyborg. Now, most people would look at that and say, "Well, what the hell is going on? It's a mother box, okay? It's a mother box." They literally wrote uh, Dark Side on their dick and just smacked you in the face with it in the whole movie, okay? They're setting up something big here, okay? That's the important thing. They're setting up something big with this movie, and I expect a lot from DC uh, and Warner Brothers just because of all these little things that were put in the movie, you know, that reference, you know, what's going to happen, you know, like, and, and you know, like I said, this is a free established universe, Whatever. Anyway, going back to what I was saying, just stop picking the fucking movie apart. Go see it. Damn it, go see it. Make it up your own mind. I mean, like I said, my niece, who is not a comic book fan, loved the movie. She thinks it's better than any other superhero genre movie she's ever seen. And that's cool to me. I like that. She went in thinking it was going to be stupid and came out like liking it. I went in knowing all the problems and, 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 and intending to come out hating it. So I could be more critical of it. And I loved it. It's a good movie. Watch it for what it is. 
Don't worry about what anyone else has to say. That said, yes, the performances are going to go down. No, it's probably not going to make as much movie as it's going to because you're starting to see the beginning of the summer blockbuster uh, type thing. Well, you know, it, 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 it's summer movies. That, well, it's springtime now, I know. Don't, 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 don't correct me here. Uh, but it's um, about to be summer movie time. So, you know, like next month we have, uh, fuck, um, uh, Civil War is coming out. And then the Warcraft movies in June. I mean, like, like all the big movies are about to come out. So you know, with uh, Deadpool, with, with, like, literally Deadpool led, uh, led the charge. This is the second one in. You know, it's you're going to like. I mean, like, Deadpool is not doing as well as it was before. Ha ha! ha. It doesn't matter. Movies are going to come and replace it. Okay. So just. Oh, I, I mean, we. And, and I I hate to do this because, for this we have to leave our fanboy zone. And I, I, I don't say that as a, a bad thing. I, I, I'm a fanboy. You're a fanboy. We love fanboys. We're fanboys. It's cool. But it seems like a lot of what's happening is the fanboys came out and saw it the first weekend. A lot of us loved it. And a lot of us went back to see it again. And hell, we might even go back to see it a third time. But I'm not sure that this movie is reaching out to people the way they were hoping for and this is actually a, a big concern for WD and a little bit of a problem because um, like you said the summer blockbusters are coming out soon but they're not out right now the only com competition that Batman vs. Superman has right now is Zootop Zootopia and my big Greek my big fat Greek wedding, or how, whatever the fuck that is. Like, I, I, I don't even know. Um, and it's spring break, or around spring break. It should be doing a lot better, and it's a concern. Um, 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 I, I, I read at one article where um, they were showing the uh, second box office uh, drop by percentile, um, it's actually doing worse than Fantastic Four, Watchmen, Hulk, X-Men Origins, Wolverine, Green Lantern. Man, it's doing worse than Man of Steel. Um, it lost about, it, it saw an 81.2% drop in box office sales the second weekend, which is actually one of the biggest drops, um, for a major blockbuster, um, since, uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 and High School Musical 3. So, I can see why WB is panicking because we were, I, I, I remember back um, thinking when uh, talking about WB doing reshoots for Suicide Squad and I was like, why are they doing reshoots for Suicide Squad? Batman vs. Superman kind of killed at the box office. Like, I, I, I well, really see, didn't understand. I think. I, I thought um, it was, well, hold on. I thought it was a reaction to the critic, the critical reviews that it was getting. That's what I thought was going on. But really, apparently, they're more worried about actual sales. And this is a big problem. This, this was the thing that I was worried about the most for the movie. If it doesn't do as well as they're expecting in the box office. And we, this is kind of a weird thing for people to grasp because, like, a, a company makes a billion dollars and they're like, and uh, others call it a failure. And they're like, how is making a billion dollars a failure? And it's because companies put up these price tags of what they expect a return on a movie or uh, something to do. And if Batman vs. Superman doesn't, I, I, I have a feeling WB had their price tags way above a billion dollars. I have a feeling that it was like a 1.2 billion or something. It's just something really high. And if Batman vs. Superman doesn't even come close to that, that's going to be really concerning to see what they do and how they try it. Will they, will they cut back on the other movies? Like, I, I'm, I'm a little bit worried. Okay, my thing is, 
I realize this movie is supposed to have done a lot better, okay? And, and, and I, I, I actually am disappointed that it's not. I really am. Uh, but the truth is, uh, you and I, you know, are aware enough of movies still pat Like, it, 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 don't, it doesn't require an expert to know this. Uh, so, so, you know, m me saying you and I are not an expert of this is actually, I guess, a compliment. Anyway, um, uh, the time it was released is, is is a little off, honestly. To me, this is this is me saying it. Uh, but then again, we've had a string of movies like, for example, uh, Star Wars: The Force Awakens when it when it was released, and then when Deadpool was released. Uh, those are usually uh, times where you don't want to release the movie if you don't want it to get seen. You know, like like putting yeah, a movie out. Put it. The winner tends to be a dry season because people are working, they're staying indoors more, they don't want to go out. So that's why it was well, well, a little well, odd at okay. the release. Uh, the, it, actually, the, 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 there there is a there is a reason for putting it out between Christmas and April, though. Uh, typically, most of your Oscar-winning movies that I, that I that I that I'm aware of in the past few at least the past few years. A lot of the big winners actually were released that, like then, uh, including the Hate Flight, which took home quite a few awards, and that was just after Christmas. Now, Force Awakens is surprisingly not going to be up for any Oscars because it was introduced just at the wrong time. No, the reality is, uh, no science fiction movie ever does that well at the Oscars. I'm sorry, people who are upset. Uh, as beautiful as the movie was, as, as much as I think it probably deserved several awards, it's not going to get them because it's you know it's a super movie. Uh, anime movies it's don't. Something I really don't understand. I don't understand why science fiction movies don't do well at the Oscars. They're because actually more technical. It's 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 because than... the it's 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 because the Academy didn't give a shit about them in general. Uh, there's just there there's other movies they look at, you know, which is strange oh, because be, w w w which is strange because the hate flight is a group of people who hate one another and they all die, you know, like they're trapped in a ca in, in a cabin. For, like there's nothing interesting about the movie, but oh, it's gonna win awards. Okay, who gives a shit? Okay, but the re but the reality is, um, I think maybe if they had if if Warner Brothers had waited a little bit longer before they released this, it would have done better. It really, I, I think it would have. Uh, but you know, but really, what's I, but, but what's keeping it afloat to me, like I said, is it, it it's a Batman movie. People like Batman. They're going to go see Batman. They're going to enjoy it because it's Batman. It's a badass in that respect. Okay. Uh, but I mean, like it's, I, I, I realize I'm essentially trying to justify the iceberg having sank the Titanic. I, I, and yeah, fuck it. I, I actually can't really make an excuse for the movie. I mean, I liked it. I do intend to go back and see it because my, because one of my sisters wants to go see it and she, and she didn't want to go without me. So I just, it, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be disappointed in the way the movie's performed, but I, but but I actually am. You know, the reality is that I am disappointed in the movie. I I mean, I I think part of why they released it now is because they wanted to put it out before Civil War. Um, at least in my opinion, because it, it's a very people are obviously going to make comparisons. We're going to make a ton of comparisons. Uh, once it actually happens, I that but, might I really mean, be the only, you know, the only the, the the only viable reason right there is to get it out before Civil War. I mean, really, there's no other. It, okay, honestly, I thought when I saw the release date for Civil War, and then I saw the release date for this. I figured, yeah, they're going to rush it just a little bit, and I kind of think that's exactly what's gone on. You know, I I, I, I really think that that's uh, what's happened is that they put it out trying to pull away some views from Civil War, and that kind of makes me sad. It, and I think it was actually a dumb decision. Um, you, if they put it at out around Civil War or at the same time as Civil War, I think it would have beaten Civil War severely um, because it's the first DC movie. It, it, it's the first 
or you know the first big DC uh, blockbuster. It, it's Batman versus Superman. I mean, the Civil War might end up being a better movie, possibly. But we we don't know yet. I mean, I have my reservations for Civil War as well, just because I think superhero fighting crossovers are generally stupid ideas, stupid comics, stupid movies. Um, but. I, there's no way that Civil War is going to be Batman vs. Superman in a head-to-head -head matchup in the first weekend. I'm sorry. It, there's, I'm a Marvel fanboy. I like Marvel generally a little bit better than DC did. I'm still a DC fanboy as well. But generally, I'm more of a Marvel fanboy. And I will freely admit that Batman vs. Superman would have beaten Civil War just in box office sales the first weekend. So I really don't understand why they tried to do this the way they did. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. I just it's 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 it, it really was a weird time to do it, but you know, it it, it 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 may have helped to put it out soon, but really and I don't want to be a dick about this, but I think this is the last time we should discuss this movie for a while. Oh, yeah. You know, oh. uh, because, like I said, this is like show number six or so we've talked about it. But I think... It, it, it's just it, it, it's just because it's, the first, it's the, supposed to introduce the DC Cinematic Universe. I mean, if we were around when Avengers was first released, I'm pretty sure we would have talked about Avengers for at least five or six episodes too. I mean, okay, okay well, sorry, right, okay, look, it's it's it, it, yes, it's going to be that. difficult to introduce the DC universe, the the DCEU. But the thing with me is, for some reason, people like characters from DC comics, like Batman, is easily one of the most favorite superheroes you're going to find. Uh, He's probably but, the but, top but, superhero But, but ever, people just, generally just don't like Batman. DC comics, you know. I mean, outside of Batman and the Joker and Superman, people are, seem to be very unfamiliar with DC characters. They are very unfamiliar with them, and DC movies don't really ever perform that well unless they're fucking Batman or Superman. So you have Batman and Superman in this, and really, like, one of the most common things I heard is, why are they fighting? It doesn't make any sense for them to fight. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I actually you know... A half dozen people or more who specifically said that they did not see any reason to go see this movie in the theater. They're going to wait until it comes out on DVD, or they can get it on pay-per-view, or just better yet, wait till it comes on HBO and it's free to watch. That's depressing. That's depressing there, especially since some of them are DC fans. You know, they heard too much negativity about the movie, and I think that that's uh, a lot of what helped to kill it. But, 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 I want to talk about something else that is, um, apparently not negative, except, well, it is negative to me, and I ac actually have a reason for saying negative to me, but yesterday, the teaser trailer for Star Wars Rogue One dropped, and everybody apparently collectively lost their shit. Rogue One! Yay! That, that that was me losing my shit. And that's where the fun... So, okay, okay. <sighs> Nick, as depressing as you were talking about BVS, I'm about to be depressing talking about a Star Wars movie. Uh, the reality is, I don't give a shit. Okay? I'm interested in going to see it. And in fact, I will be going to see Rogue One. Uh, because I have... I, I've actually managed to see every Star Wars movie in the theater. Okay? Now I, now, I know you're thinking, but Jonathan, you weren't around for the original ones. No, but when the special editions came out, you bet your ass I went and saw them in the movie theater. So I have seen every Star Wars movie in the theater, okay? And I'm, 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 I'm just going to leave it at that, because that's including the Clone Wars movie, which I saw. <sighs> so, yes, I'll be going to see Rogue One, you know, without a question. Uh, but it's coming out in December, and honestly... I think Star Wars had a traditional date it would come out in, you know, around May 4th, you know, as in May the 4th be with you, which is coming up, and 
it was cool to center them all around then. So now we're going to go to December. That's fine. I don't care. It's Star Wars. I'll go see it. But the reason I'm less, I'm, I'm interested, but I'm less than normally interested in this is because I, it, I actually realized today, I, I was taking a shower to get ready to go, you know, this morning. And I realized today that with this movie having been announced, and like we are four months away from The Force Awakens having been announced, uh, like a month at most away from production on uh, the next one, you know, like the next uh, movie coming out next year. It'll be out next year, December of next year, two years away, you know, instead of the traditional three years, it's fine, whatever, I don't care. But uh, anyway, um, we're waiting for a movie this year, there'll be a Star Wars movie next year, and it's, it's, it's fucking terrifying, dude, it's, it's terrifying. I think I'll be dead before Disney stops squeezing blood out of Star Wars and now Marvel, because we're going to be getting superhero movies like every year now and they're going to be like there's, there's going to be a marvel one every year and now we're probably going to have a dc one every year which is fine because because honestly i don't go see marvel movies in the theater but i do go see dc ones because i like dc comics okay i'm sorry i would rather go see that now back to what i was saying you know i i'm i'm, I'm worried about this i think before you know, this is all over, I'll be dead, you know, like, I'll, I'll, I'll probably have died, and DC will be like, here comes Star Wars, episode 912, bitches, <laughs> and then I can just imagine Walt Disney, you know, coming out of his cryogenic chamber, and just rolling around on obscenely large piles of money, and I, I don't, I, 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 I'm just not interested, like, because I don't want to see it become that, you know, but at the same time, at the same time, the trailer is like a minute long, and it's probably one of the coolest goddamn things I've ever seen. I mean, like, I've never really imagined Forrest Whitaker being star in Star Wars. I never imagined someone ac actively beating the shit out of stormtroopers wielding a baton, you know. So, like, I'm, I'm actually excited, especially because of the at, -AT scene, you know, and, and then, like, the absolute best image at all is the uh, Death Star being built. Now, I think, you know, b b back to realistic concerns here, I think the average person who goes and sees this uh, or has seen the trailer is going to wonder, why are we doing this? Didn't we just, you know, have the other Star Wars movie? Like, Rogue One's being released at a strange time. Well, perhaps the weirdest thing to me was I thought Rogue One was going to be the eighth movie. I didn't realize that Rogue One was going to be a separate spin-off movie um, until I saw the trailer, and then I, I realized there was an eight in the title, and I was like, oh, they're actually doing a spin-off movie. And contrary to you, that makes me really excited. I'm sorry. I'm excited to see a spin-off movie. We've had the extended universe for so long. We've had little cartoons and spin-off things before. But we've never had anything quite like this. Now, there is one thing that I am disappointed with this. Um, I thought Rogue One was basically going to be about Rogue Squadron. Um, and not a movie, um, about a, basically, a, it, it looks basically like a spy movie. It is a spy movie. It's a spy movie in the Star Wars universe, which is fine and dandy. And so, you know, okay, look, okay, look. I am terribly, terribly excited for this. I am excited. I like this, I like this idea. I think this will be a great idea. I think it's going to be great. I think it will do great. I, I, I have no reservation. My only disappointment is that it's not about Rogue Squadron. Because Rogue Squadron deserves its own damn movie. That, that That's my only only thing. Okay, okay look, okay. It, let, 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 allow me to clarify my position here. Um, I'm not against it because it's Star Wars. I'm not against it because, like, like, for any reason. Like, I actually have 
the same amount of excitement you have about it. But th like, you know, my thing is that it, I realize it, it, you're being depressed for no that, reason. This is exciting, damn it! Be excited. It, it, it. I realized this morning that all of the shit that I grew up, you know, getting laughed at and made fun of because I would like Star Wars and comics and stuff like that. That's now becoming mainstream. Like, it's now the exception to the rule to not like this stuff, okay? And it's not that I don't mind other people liking Star Wars and comic stuff like that. I think it's awesome, you know? It's just like, at what point in time is this going to stop being, you know, for the special person group, you know, that actually, you know, cares about this stuff? I mean, like... You know, it's 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 weird. It's weird to me to have grown up basically being ostracized from society for liking these things, and now it's like, dude, you gotta go see it. Ah! And I'm like, no, no, no. Like my wallet is, you know, empty. I don't have money anymore. And and that's my concern is that we're not going to be getting the movies we should be getting. Because Disney's just going to start, and, I, and I'm, I'm not saying Disney does bad shit. I, it, it's just that I think we're going to start seeing this stuff come out more and more and more often, and that it's going to it, it, it's, it's going to stop being special. You know, I mean, like getting you know the three new Star Wars movies. I'm excited for that. Well, the two more after Force Awakens. I'm excited for that. Like I'm actually excited about those because they're special. You know, they're special. They're Star Wars movies. You know, you don't just get them that often. And they always come in threes, and they're always really good, even though, comparatively, Force Awakens is probably better than ever. In, anyway, I'm just, it's, 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 it's weird, and, and it really feels like this is being made just to make money. Like, solely to do nothing but make money for Disney, and that, that really bothers me. Like, at, 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 at... The core of it all, that actually does bother me to think, you know, that Star Wars is just going to be made solely. Now, I realize the ones in the past were made for the same reason, but that's George Lucas. George Lucas is an asshole. We've discussed this. I just don't like Disney making shit to make money because I, I have never really viewed Disney as being that. And that's exactly what they're doing to me. And I, I don't know. It's... It, 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 I have weird reactions to this trailer, you know. I want to see it. I want to see it. What? And, and I, I, I just don't know how to process oh, all the feelings oh, I have. On, about. On. You, you do realize that every special Disney movie that you love, that they made sequels to that you probably have never seen, just to make money. I know that Disney does shit to just to make money. Like I, I I'm not, I'm not unaware of. It. I just. It just seems like we just had a Star Wars movie. We ignored it until there was something you really loved. Do what now? You blatantly ignored that fact until there was something you really loved being made. I don't. Oh, okay. Okay. Look. Here's the thing. The 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 biggest dislike that I have of the new alternate universe, wherever the hell Disney's calling it is the fact that they have completed in a way with the nearly 40 fucking years of expanded universe that Star Wars has had behind it, including probably the single best Star Wars book ever, Shadows of the Empire. I would kill to see Shadows of the Empire. I would cut my right leg off to see Shadows of the Empire. I would suck a dick to see Shadows of the Empire, okay? I love Shadows of the Empire. I would do anything you you name to see Shadows of the Empire. Okay? It's not that I dislike Rogue Squadron. It's not that I dislike these other possible storylines. It's that Shadows of the fucking Empire needs to be a movie. Okay? It's a book. It's one of the best video games I've ever played in my life. I love it. In fact, it had uh, a whole toy line... In the Star Wars, in fact, it was some of the last ones that Kenner ever made, and I had the whole goddamn toy line, okay? That actually explained what happened between movies. This is just a little side story type thing 
that's supposed to take place but uh, before uh, um, a, a New Hope. You know, the one that came out in 1977. Okay, what are we going to learn? Oh, the Empire is evil. Oh, there's a rebellion. Oh, they're building a Death Star. Woohoo! That stuff we already found out. Meanwhile, no one seems to have a goddamn clue uh, how Leia wound up with the costume she had on, or that the costume was from an actual bounty hunter, or how anyone got into Chewbacca's palace or anything like that, because, oh, it was just a book and not everyone reads books. I would rather have that story. I would rather see, you know, uh, Shizor's uh, reminder of exactly why he hates Darth Vader, because Darth Vader was responsible for nuking uh, the planet Feline. I would like to see that on screen rather than, oh, Death Star, ha ha, ha no, no. I'm tired of Death Stars. I'm tired of the same basic Star Wars shit. Make a movie about something that matters to it. Not that this is unimportant. Not that I'm, again, not going to go see it, because I'm going to go see it, I'm sure, more than once. Because it's Star Wars, and I have I have I had this uncontrollable urge to go see Star Wars. I, there are there are just things I think that deserve to be a movie first, and I have said for oh my god, I was in junior high when I read Shadows of the Empire. So, uh, twenty two years now, I think twenty one, twenty two years now. You know, the vast majority of my life, I have said this needs to be a movie. And we're not getting it as a movie, and it kind of upsets me. I would like to see it as a movie, and especially after Disney has bought out Lucasfilm and everything else that owns right Star Wars, we're probably never going to see that. And I dislike that, and it makes me unhappy, and it makes me angry, and then I'm sure I'll forget about it when I start seeing more trailers come out, or as actually better yet, as, as soon as we finish the show today, I, I'm sure I'll just stop giving a fuck and go back to being a fanboy over Star Wars. Because it, it's going to happen. It invariably does with me. Okay, so basically you're just being depressing for no reason. And we have a new Star Wars movie. Be excited. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, I'm essentially bitching to bitch because I realize that there's nothing that I can do about anything like I, I i i i don't control anything in this universe anymore like i have lost my control here you are a powerless and insignificant speck of dust in the vast grandness of the universe and you have to come to a term for that <sighs> it's sad but in other awesome news like as awesome as we can possibly get because we're about towards the end of the show here. Um, new posters were released. Speaking of movies coming out, holy shit, since they were doing, since we're talking about movies that are coming out, uh, the Warcraft movie's coming out on June 10th, and there were posters released for the characters, and, I, and I'm excited about them. They look so, so cool. Although, I do have one gripe with the posters. Just one. I, I, I think Corona needs more muscle. Like, I don't care about the midriff. I don't care that she looks sexy. Whatever. I think she needs more muscle. On her arms and her legs, they need to be more defined. That's my only gripe. My only gripe. Well, see, personally, I think the posters look good. Um, there's one... For the majority of the, char the majority of the characters, and, and some of these are ones that we're just now getting to see. I mean, like this is the first face-on shot of Gul'dan that I'm aware of. You know, we, 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 we've been seeing uh, Verona and, few, and several others for months now, uh, but this is, like I said, this the, this is the first time we're seeing um, Gul'dan face-on and seeing uh, Taria Ren. Uh, even though we're not seeing her face, even, but she has been in the trailers, and, and then, you know, you have Lane and Lothar. And I kind of wonder why there is no Medivh. Like, that was the only thing with this that I really wanted to know, is why was there no Medivh to be shown? I, I, I'm i guessing it's because they want to keep Medivh 
as hidden or secret as possible. Because basically, Medivh is a Warcraft movie. I don't know. I just kind of think that there should be a Medivh poster at some point in time. You know, it, 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 would, it would just make sense to have a Medivh one, but whatever, you know, you know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. Because, because, like, because like we just established, I apparently have no power in the universe. We, you, you don't. I have lots of power, but you have none. That, that, that's basically how this goes. That's why I'm still on this show, despite you not wanting me to be here, or wondering why I'm here. It's because I hold the power of the universe. No, you don't. You are not He-Man. Actually, 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 you know what? You you know what? I actually do control power. Uh Haha, because uh, we managed to get through everything we had to say today. I mean. It, 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 if that restores your faith in humanity and your excitement for Star Wars, then okay. You have power in the universe. No, no, no. Like, what restores my power in the universe is, um, I don't know. Your ability to mute me? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Actually, I can mute you and be like, haha, I can talk forever. And then no one. I, I don't. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. This is a weird show. Weird. We're weird, weird episode today. But I think it's gonna be it for today. Possibly. Maybe. Um. So please remember to like this video, comment, share, subscribe it. Um. Yeah. Any final thoughts, Nick? Everyone ignore Jonathan. He decided it was Star Wars movie. It was Warcraft movie. He had a Batman vs Superman movie. Who cares if it's not doing well? We have a DC universe. Be excited. The world is great. The world is good. Goodbye. For some reason, I almost expect you to start going, Say Kyle! Say Kyle! At the end of that. And, and, and it, 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 because you just kept clearly building to a crescendo. And you're like, okay, bye. I, I have to leave them on the edge. I'm sorry. I'm a cruel person. Okay, if you, if, you, if you say so, Mr. Robot Man. But yeah, that's it. So please remember to like it. Wait, no, wait. Yeah, I already said that part. Anyway, we'll yes, talk to is. all of you. I'm not a robot. No, no, you're a robot. Uh, but you're a robot, mm-hmm. and we'll talk to you, all of you, on like Monday. So have a good weekend, everybody. Bye.